think it's better to be by yourself though just because you really figure yourself out and you take that time to really reflect i figure myself out way too much i think too much i analyze everything I'm like why am i thinking about this oh my god am i like do i have a psychological issue like oh my god what if i do that's I'm just labeling. being neurotic <laughs> well i'm paranoid. that's just you being a female <laughs> and it's it's great to be a female but at the same time it's like there's so much out there i was actually speak i was talking about this yesterday how it's crazy how there's so many guys out there and they're good looking you go out on dates with them but there's no attraction like there's nothing there but then you, there's that one person that you come across and it's just the connections right like it's just there and it can be the ugliest person in the world but to you it's like oh my god it's insane though it's a i mean i really wonder why though why is it like that why looks don't play like no a not really part? just the chemistry like what is it about that specific person since I'm girly and like cute quotes, there was this quote, oh and it said, Zeus made a human in, with four legs and four arms, and he cut them down the middle and separated them so that they can find each other. That's why. That's why there's chemistry. Isn't that cute? And then, like, you find each other, and then you just That's click. That's actually pretty cool. It's, a, it's, a nice, it's a nice quote. So it's just like, you know... I what think if, everybody just needs if? to have time by themselves, too, just to be able to be by yourself. Because I feel like a problem with like a lot of people now is that people don't know how to be alone by themselves. That's why there's articles about loneliness. Because they don't know how to cope with it. I don't know how to cope with it. I hate being alone. But listen, it's like, especially a female, like when you're on your hustle and you have things to do, there really isn't any time to be in a relationship ever. You don't have time for the other person. You have time maybe once a week. And then with that, if they don't really understand your lifestyle, comes insecurities. And then they just ask you, like, where you're at all the time. And then it just turns into something else. And then that it turns seems like into something it's personal. else. And then it just gets into a huge <laughs> fight. Right? Yeah. No, I don't like when people are trying to keep tabs on me all the time. It's just like, do you really not have anything else to do? Like, I'm doing something. Like, I if, mean, you're, if you're working on things on your own, like, whether it be your career or just doing something about yourself, you don't always need somebody there and if somebody's always checking up on you it just feels like they're making you feel guilty for just taking time by yourself you have to be about your hustle at a young age especially you now be able to, yep Leave i have college. no time when someone asks me what my hobbies are i don't know what to answer because i don't have a hobby find some wait I, time out i've told you to find go hobbies. ahead i know you need hobbies i know time out start what? playing ruzzle best hobby <laughs> <laughs> how about I flappy so bird no flappy bird is not right a now. good way of that's a way of building anger because you, don't, you never beat the game and i'm pretty much angry at least five times a week so i'd rather not everybody be everybody should have a hobby angry um yeah i i mean that's i have a man good. he's busy i'm busy that's I, not your hobby though no no i'm saying like with time for yourself like i can still find time for myself i just don't choose to be alone or at least I don't like to be alone when I don't know it's going to creep up on me. What do you mean creep up on you? Like if I'm expecting to come home to like an apartment full of girls or like to do something that night and then there's only our one roommate, I'm just like, oh, great. I mean, I don't like being alone, <laughs> but it has taught me a lot about myself just because now I know exactly what I want and I know what I don't want. In terms of? In terms of... Just you in general. Basically, yeah, just about myself. What I'm not going to really take from a man. As in, if you don't drive a car, you ain't getting my attention. If you don't have money in your pocket, you're definitely not getting my attention. That's standards. That's good. Yes. It's not I'm being not, gold everybody, digger, people, everybody all right? standards. It, it's called being a woman, all right? Because I can't talk you know to a guy for, for more than five seconds if they don't have any kind of ambition that they want to do with their life. Or I can't hold our conversation. Yeah, like, That's man. not in texting. I hate texting. If you can't talk to me in person, what makes you think that I want to talk to you over a text message? True that. Yep. True that. I like Got that. It. But I'm the oddball. I like being alone. Not I'm all alone. the time. Like, it's nice to have people around, but, I mean, I do enjoy my alone time. It gives me time to think. I think I grew up too fast when I was younger. Me and my friends always wanted to do... We knew way too much at our age, and we always wanted to do stuff that yeah, but older crowds were doing. And now I feel like, I feel like, oh man, I'm not doing. I went through no the more. same thing. I mean, I started bartending at 17 years old, so I was I was already in the scene very young. But it's also a good thing because you learn. You learn a lot about yourself at that age. You know what not to do when you're 21. True. To not look like an idiot. 
because most of you people look like idiots but that's just my opinion <laughs> yeah i agree yeah so Drea, when do you feel alone well there's no one physically around me that's i mean i mean i feel alone when there's people around me too except i feel it more when i'm actually physically by myself the only time that i want to be alone is like if i'm really stressed out if like shopping i like to shop with people but i can't shop while i'm with someone i gotta shop by myself and then accompany you so that you're not wasting my time and i'm not wasting your time that's how i look at it you really are a new yorker i don't i don't like wasting people's times i don't like looking at things for too long and thinking oh man this person wants to do something else i'd rather just go alone do I'd it i'd rather myself. go alone and do it myself I'm and the then same way. go with someone who wants to shop like i would go shopping with you or you and not buy anything and just see whatever you want to whatever's get. there and i mean if there's something that i like i'll buy it yeah that's why i went shopping by myself last saturday because Abby took me to Westchester Mall, which is extremely upscale. Did she buy anything from Westchester Mall? She, bu- We both bought stuff from Express. Oh. Reasonable. Sale rack. But, like, I wasn't going to go into Burberry and buy, like, jeans or shoes, you, you know? Drop 100 on jeans. I didn't have that. I don't babysit. I don't make bank. <laughs> so, she does, and I don't. Yeah. I was like, really? Take me to Westchester Mall? Out of all places. I mean, I enjoy going there. I don't mind it. So this quiz is actually entitled, What Do You Actually Need in Your Life Right Now? So before we even go <gasps> through taking the quiz, what do you guys both feel that you you need in your life from your perspective? And, and what do you think that somebody else that feels like you need in your life? What someone else thinks well, what we you think. need? Well, what you okay. think first. You can go first, Chels. Oh, this, <laughs> this is going to be long. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. Um, I definitely need stability. And someone that's older, just because of the fact that I grew up a lot faster. Mm -hmm. And I need someone to really entertain my little brain. Your brain (laughs) is not And keep me on my toes. Yeah, I I, I just want a man. That's that's what I want. I don't want a boy. I don't like college guys. I really don't. Preach. It's very... I'm just not into it. It's not not my cup of tea. (laughs) What about from life in general? Long span. Yeah, like, career-wise, like, you know, what do you want from what you're doing now? For myself? Yeah. Well, everyone wants to make money, obviously. That's actually my number one fear of not being successful. Same. Just failing. I don't like failing. Me neither. But I'm a big believer, and I really don't think I'm going to fail, because I think I'm going to be famous. But anyways, (laughs) other than that. (laughs) You might be. That's the kind of mindset you have to have in order yep. to go into... You gotta be super positive. Yeah, you really do. You have to have thick skin. I realize that. 